look me in the eyes and tell me the things you are sorry for. Got too many. Yeah. Hi, my name is Andriana. I'm 26 years old this year, and this is my mom. Hi, I'm Alice Lee. I'm 55 years old. She's my beautiful daughter. Lies. <laughs> Maybe only on the camera. La. <laughs> my mom, to me, I guess she's like the superwoman. When she actually was pregnant, right, she always go down to the hawker store to work also. So she will stand in long hours and cook at the same time pregnant. Ah. So a bit tough, ah, I would say, yeah. When do you feel I misunderstand you? Um, as an elders at home, I always like get the blame first. I also don't know why. Like, uh, have to set the role model, have to be everything. And sometimes it just feels like... Because your character is too, too strong and too independent already. It's just in everybody's eye, maybe to you or maybe towards Papa, is that high chance is always I'm the one that offended someone because as you say, very independent, very, very strict and very strong. It's, I think it's a bit difficult for me to also come out and tell people that hey, I'm also going through something like that. Because people already have the impression that eh, hey, he actually has a strong heart, actually has independent, don't worry about But at the end of the day, I'm still human. I still want to be pampered, want to be loved also. And I also want to be like, understand lah. So yeah. What is one thing you wish you know more about me? Mommy hope that um, you can tell me what, whatever thing you said or you happy. I'm more open to you lah. Yeah. Yeah. Don't hide behind me and Papa also. <laughs> I try, I try. <laughs> Look me in the eyes and tell me the things you are sorry for. Got too many. Yeah. Okay, mommy. I'm sorry for uh, that time I quarrel with you, especially when it comes to Bobby and I our situation. Uh, that one difficult la. Uh, very difficult for me to tell you. That's why I choose to quarrel instead of telling you everything. Then uh, when I was a kid last time, I started to cut myself. That was something that. I am very very sorry for almost also because not only it hurt me, I know that it also hurt you. Then I think the last one that I'm sorry for right is that I'm not as successful enough to take care of you and uh, baby. Yeah, because baby right, baby we all know is autistic lah. Okay, so that's why I like constantly still worry of whether I can be good enough to take care of you, Papa, and, and baby. That is one thing that I'm super afraid of. Uh. Right now, I feel very sorry because I don't have the ability to take care of you all. Sorry, mommy. Uh, what is one thing we have never spoken about but should? Mommy, I love you. <laughs> Every time, okay, every time and ever I could say, Mommy, love you, or what, what you do wrong now, huh? <laughs> Everything is like, the first instinct is that you thought that we do something wrong. If your future daughter would ask you about the best lesson I taught you, what could you say? I think it's doing everything with conscious, like whatever you do, God can see, and it doesn't matter whatever people say, you just do you as long as it's just not against your morals, it's not against anything in the world. A very good lesson learner, I would say. Hmm. When do you feel most proud of me? You sign on Navy, I'm proud of you. That's not easy job for a lady. My daughter can be a Navy, can go sign on Navy. That's the part of mommy happy. You whatever like show off and all. <laughs> <laughs> Why leh? What for show off? <laughs> Proud of you in my heart wah. How do you describe our relationship to others? I think when you were younger, you always 
take care of us in a sense where like make sure that we have food make sure that we have a shelter instead of like uh, being always there I guess I will understand why you are doing that or teach us how to be independent that's kind of relationship do you ever cross your mind and compare me with other people's child? Huh? Why?这个是自然现象啊，为什么别人孩子那么乖，我的孩子那么坏？我不乖呗。所以以前小时候有这样的这样的呃想法，你不记得你小时候很顽皮吗？不懂。学校一直complain，complain。Huh? No. What, what, what? Complain what? Complain that you very naughty in the class. You very, very naughty. What the teacher say? <laughs> when you finish your, your food, then not enough, you go and snack other table <laughs> children food. Huh? The other children, the mom, call the teacher to take you out from the school. Do remember. Looking back on how our life has been, what's one thing you wish we had more time doing together? Going out together, having fun instead of every day working and then like not there, that kind of stuff. I never blame you. It's just sometimes it's just a bit difficult. You're not there. Then when I need help, then like I always got my friends. And sometimes the friends last time I have right, it's not my friend. They always make excuse of me. So. It's a bit difficult to like find good friends, so I wish that uh, you are there for me most of the time. What is one memory of us you cannot forget? I think it's that time I bring you go Pasar Malam, have fun, you remember? You sit on the steel there, then you jog. Oh, that one you broke your elbow. That's the that's part I remember. Yeah. I was so worried. <laughs> Because the time your your father is not beside me, mm. your brother still small, and then I don't know how to decide. I go this clinic, go that clinic. They ask me to send you go to hospital. That is the worst part. Wow, <laughs> 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 You never cry, man. You cry lah, how? I don't remember you cry. crying. Then how? Then you you. You also, you also dare not to cry, so I stress out. But luckily, nothing happened to me. How can I be a better daughter? <laughs> as long you know how to take care of yourself, then take care of your own health. That's my, that's my wish already. Sorry. <laughs> a bit like emotional. <laughs> Too emotional for me to handle. <laughs> It's a very rare occasion where she has the time. I guess it's a good thing that I have the time and she has the time right now to talk this kind of stuff. It's because there's always this thing where it's too late to say sorry. Oh. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's okay lah. Don't worry. It's sometimes it's too late to say sorry because what even they, they are not around already and then you regret. Yeah, so that is something that a bit difficult for me to under, uh, how say, uh, forgive myself. Yeah, because I guess recently my grandmom have like signs of passing soon so it actually gave me like a moment to reflect on life, I guess. <laughs>